everyone! So today you're joining me to do a DIY resist art bleach project. It's a long name, um, but essentially it's going to turn out something like the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Uh, so I want to tell you a little bit about why I do this. If you're like me, you kind of see what's going on with the environment and climate change right now. And it makes you start thinking about ways that you can reutilize objects in your life rather than just tossing them away. So this is kind of a project that I thought about because I was getting ready to get rid of some old shirts and I thought, why not revitalize them? Maybe I can make them into something new and exciting. So this is that project. <laughs> so. Today we're going to use a few different materials and you'll notice I'm outside um, because I want to make sure that our bleach water doesn't bleach anything unintended. So first thing you need of course is the bleach. So I did a half and half combination of bleach and water. You'll also need tape or something to resist. So this is uh, wide tape and thin tape and you can see from my t-shirt I used this um, for this, this uh, specific example. Another resist item could be a shape cut out of a piece of cardboard. Uh, it can be as simple or as complex as you want. For example, I have the Hogwarts castle here, um, and that is my more complex example. You'll also need some protective gloves as well as some scissors. So before we get started, I want to make sure you all have your caregiver or grown-ups uh, support and permission in using bleach water because this is not exactly a chemical that you want to just toss around. You want to make sure that you have their permission to use it. So make sure you get that and then you can get started. <laughs> now for anyone who doesn't like um, using bleach water, that's totally fine. I understand that. Um, what you can do instead is you can purchase some fabric paint um, and then just take things like a q-tip or a pencil dip it in the fabric paint and you're going to just kind of tap it all around uh, the little shape that you choose. And then that way it kind of creates the same effect of bleach um, kind of sprayed on. All right, so let's get actually started now. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> okay, so like I said, we're going to use the stencils and things in order to uh, help us with our resist art. So I already put some tape on the back of these parts that are kind of sticking up and I'm going to just lay it flat on my pencil case. And when you're using t-shirts or um, stencils in general, you're probably going to want to make sure that they are um, as close to real cotton as possible. This one's a little unruly. Now you'll probably notice on this, there are some pretty big gaps um, in between the stencil and the actual um, pencil case. So it's likely that bleach is going to get in between there and it might not be a perfect stencil but that's okay um, I'm not going for perfection this time I'm just kind of going for uh, kind of a fun um, freestyle sort of look <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do that first you want to make sure that you have everything that you don't want to be bleached nice and far away because the spray bottle does spray and it's a little windy out here today, um, you want to just make sure that the bleach isn't going to travel onto something unintended. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to spray um, as most as possible straight down so that it has less chance of leaking out in between um, the stencil. So we're just going to spray lightly. And you can see I have big droplets of bleach on this one. Some sprayers are a little more light handed um, and that's fine. You can do whatever kind of look you want with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side just a little bit. And we're going to draw our attention to the t-shirt. 
Now ideally, if you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you have an utterly clean surface um, as if I didn't just spray bleach uh, right here in the same spot <laughs> because then you're not gonna get a perfect t-shirt. Um, so for example, I might have some little bleach dots on the back of this t-shirt because I laid it down on top. But now we have our heart placement and you wanna make sure you're placing it right where you want it um, and just make sure that it's all centered and uh, everything uh, like that. So now we're gonna spray. And for this one, I really kind of want to get all around it because again, we're going to have the resist be underneath there, um, underneath that shape. Okay. You can already kind of start seeing it lightning, which is really kind of cool to watch. But um, my pencil case is taking a little longer, I can see. That's pretty interesting. The different materials do a little bit different things. Uh, so I'm going to unfold the sleeves here a little bit because I want the spray to continue on to those sleeves. I'm just going to kind of make sure that I get all the kind of color I want. I want it to be kind of less and less spray the further it gets from the heart. So I'm just going to make sure I have a nice amount of bleach next to the heart but not so much further away. All right, now we just have to wait. <laughs> so I'll see you back here after 10 minutes and I'll tell you what to do after that. All right, welcome back. So um, our t-shirt and our pencil case has developed a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys kind of what happened now. So you can see the t-shirt right here. Yep. So it's turned out to be kind of an orangey color against the black, which I really kind of dig. Um, but if you do this on different colored shirts, um, like the black that I'm wearing is a different blend of cotton. And so the bleach has turned out more white. Um, but this one, I don't know, it's a heavy cotton. So maybe, um, maybe that has something to do with it. But if we take away our little stencil, I'm just going to toss it right there on the ground. You'll see what's left. A heart. <laughs> so really the simpler the object is that you're um, resisting, whether it's a simple shape of a heart or some other shape, flower, whatever you might want, or um, if it's a simple geometric, um, like I did with the tape on the shirt that I'm currently wearing, um, those tend to work better. Uh, because the more complex ones, they just have a lot more going on and it's a lot harder to get it perfect. Um, but I think this turned out pretty good. <laughs> now let's take a look at the pencil case. Again, I think it's um, because of the different blends of cotton, it didn't turn out quite as well as I had hoped. So I'm going to get up close so you guys can kind of see you can see it turned kind of a murky brown <laughs> instead of orange or white, um, but you can see the kind of simple outlines of the snitch. So not my, my favorite, but it was a fun experiment. So that's basically it in a nutshell. You can use all these materials, but again, the simplest things are the best. Um, the tape, I'm going to have this shirt for a long time now because I love how it turned out with the tape. And all it took was putting a geometric design on it, spraying a little bleach, and then ripping it off. So after you're at this stage, you don't want to just toss it on to your body and let the bleach kind of soak through. <laughs> you want to put this through the washer and dryer if possible. If you don't have a washer and dryer, just soak it in the sink and make sure you give it a good scrub. That way you're getting the residual bleach off of it before you wear it. All right, 
this was fun. I hope you guys have some good time to create um, your own little projects, whether it's with the fabric paint or um, with the bleach water. So show us what you make. We would love to see it. Just tag us in any of the photos. All right. Thanks for joining me.